beautiful welcome you mutable signs i don't know why i can't get that out y'all i got a cough that is not coming out if you are new welcome loves if you are returning back welcome back loves i missed y'all i am nick baby i am your reader this is a weekend check for my mutable signs right let's see what spirit has for you those of you that are new i do pray and sage off camera so let's get into it loves you can have these signs anywhere in your placements for them to for this message to resonate or you don't have to you may have just been called to this message and it found you so i don't know stay a while if you're here i appreciate you here at the phoenix Terror tribe i wish everyone a beautiful weekend it's cold where we are but i think it's supposed to warm up i'm not sure as we enjoy the last little days of fall before we hit the big winter over here well yeah we got some time we got a little bit of time but it just seems to be cold all right spirit guides and ancestors i was going to say Show us what we need to know. Guilt in reverse. We got, that is an eight. That is the overall energy of something that you're going through this weekend. Integration. So someone is balancing out their yin and yang and figuring out that something is not their fault. That's kind of what I'm getting. Right? Something, something could happen, could have happened on the 14th and you're getting closure now. Or your someone's birthday could be, I don't know. I don't know. The number 14 may be significant. The number 8 may be significant as we continue to move forward with the reason, reading. I just want to make sure they weren't sticking. Because they kind of felt like they were trying to stick. All right, here we go. Let's get a message for you all. Let's see. What's the message about this guilt in reverse spirit? What's coming out of this situation for moderation? Okay, so things need to be done in moderation. You may feel like you don't do enough of something, but don't overexert yourself is what I'm hearing. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthy. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Okay, someone may be going out to dinner or expressing, um, expressly making something for someone else. What's at the bottom of the deck is wish wisely. So we need to be careful about our thought process at this time. All right, so yeah, my mutable signs. Be be careful of the thoughts that you are keeping. Um, release, try to release all negative energy and do things in moderation. So there's nothing wrong with having a drink or having an extra cookie. It's just when we finish off the pack, it becomes a problem. Uh, finish off the pack of beer, finish off the pack of Oreos. That's the issue. So, and you know, we're moving toward the winter months. So we do tend to eat a little more storing on a little bit of extra fat um so it's pretty telling you be mindful and if you are not mindful things could end badly oh okay so let's see the overall energy is something's moving forward the chariot cancerian energy all right you could have cancer in your chart what is moving forward love what are, do you have plans for this weekend this one's flipped out in reverse okay so we got what is this the eight of coins that you're not working this weekend so somebody's off this weekend or somebody's not putting in work this weekend i want to make sure we can get everything up here <clears throat> somebody's not investing in something that's what i see the eight of coins in reverse with guilt okay somebody might be trying to guilt trip you about something to get you to do something or move toward them oh this could have something to do with a union a home setting with the four of wands it may have something to do. Someone may not want to move this weekend. You may want to stay still or physically move locations. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Cups, leaving something behind. Okay, so, y'all, this is going to be sticky. Let's get to it. Let's see. We only here for a short time. So, at the bottom of the deck, we got the full. We got the full, right? Okay, so, we got to remember that. 
sometimes taking that leap of faith works out better. All right, something has to do with a home. Sometime this weekend, maybe Saturday, four days. Four days from now will be Sunday, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, Monday-ish, okay? Something could happen around that time for you. You may decide to change your living situation. You may be walking away from someone and they're trying to guilt trip you, but you don't feel guilty. And it seems like this person is trying to get in your head because upright. We got to show it upright. That looks like demons trying to attach, attack her head. So someone may be trying to play with your crown chakra and guilt trip you and all these things. But I don't feel like it's going to work. You're still going to walk away with this eight of cups to what is this the nine of wands this is going to be a heavy burden for somebody just not you you're going to continue to be victorious you're going to continue to move forward and this is going to be the eight of swords keeping someone stuck that's i think that would be what they want for you i don't think so i don't think it's going to happen because we got the knight of coins right up under that even if you're moving forward, making a little progress, something is better than nothing. And this knight is looking at the chariot like, I'm about to be over there. All right, we got the queen of coins. This could be about a queen of coins. You could be a queen of coins, which is the queen of pentacles. All right, spirit, keep going. Eight of cups again. We got the Eight of Cups again. Somebody's walking away from a Queen of Coins energy this weekend. And it's okay to leave things behind that no longer serve us. We have to. It, and you know what? I've never paid attention. This looks like somebody is drowning. So someone may be using alcohol to drown their sorrows. This is a hat. It looks like Captain Hook's hat. I don't know that it is Captain Hook's hat. But somebody is drowning. And this is water. But... If you look at the roughage, the plumage around that actual water setting, that pond or whatever it is, it's hidden. So what you don't know, someone is definitely drowning in their emotions, this queen of coins. And that's the overall energy because you are moving forward. This could be about a job, y'all. It could be about a relationship too with the four wands out here. But okay, sure, keep going. Yeah, somebody's in the Four of Cups. They're in despair about you moving forward. But I feel like you're being called to move forward. So I think Spirit is telling you, deal with this person in moderation because they're trying to guilt trip you and get in your head. Fuck with your crown chakra. 808 on the timer. Something may have happened in August. Yeah, you're planning for your future. You're no longer investing in this. This is the Eight of Coins in reverse, clarified with the Two of Wands. That means that you know you cannot continue to invest in a situation and still have the future and the life that you want. Someone may be cutting somebody off financially with this eight of coins in reverse. It just depends. Oh, what I said. And this judgment flew directly on this queen of coins. It flew straight over here. So judgment is reserved for those of us that need to make that decision to move forward and leave things behind that no longer serve us. But, you know, when we think of the judgment, Sagittarius energy, I do believe, or is a Libra. I can't, y'all, I got a headache. I'm just trying to be here for y'all. Y'all know, drop it down in the comments, okay? As we move forward and we make that judgment to do the things that are in alignment with us, cutting somebody off financially, and you know that they're using money for things that they should be doing in moderation, because for some of y'all, this could be drugs. I heard drugs. I heard drinking. There's too many cups out here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven cups, baby. That's a lot of feelings. But it could also indicate somebody having an addiction. So you may have to cut somebody. It ain't even. That's 19 cups altogether. So someone could have a, a major addiction. And you're cutting off finances finances until they get the help that they need in addition addiction could be shopping it could be eating it could be gossiping you know spirit tell us about this judgment for this eight of coins in reverse the king of cups okay so this king of cups is cutting off this 
queen of coins. So somebody has deep love for somebody. But the king of cups is very diplomatic. Like I say what I said. I stand on it. I'm doing this because I care about you. All right, Spirit, tell us about these four of wands. What's going on here? The queen of swords. Okay. Spirit, why is the queen of swords clarifying somebody's being cold? Somebody could... The queen of swords to me is a divorcee. But it could also be like somebody's mother-in-law. I don't know why I always feel like it's a mother-in-law. It's a it's a feminine energy. Okay, we got we got the Queen of Swords spirit. What else? Getting the truth about someone. Okay, someone may have tried to help someone hide their addictions. It could be a mother figure helping a daughter. I mean, because when you look at the the Queen of Swords, shows up looking one way, right? And I would perceive these two pictures this to be the older person. And then you got this other person who looks younger, spry, but looks like they, they're doing drugs. They actually do look like that. But there may be some information that's coming towards you. And the integration would be figuring out who's who and how to find your own balance in this situation, which could leave somebody feeling a particular way. Spirit, can we clarify this Ace of Swords? There's truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords. It could even be about a union, who you live with. Why aren't bills getting paid on time? Because somebody has an addiction? This is the issue. Somebody doesn't want to work on themselves, regardless of whatever that addiction is. Like I said, an addiction could be shopping, gossiping, whatever, but somebody does not want to work on themselves with the hermit crossing. That's what the problem is, my loves, right? And then we got the five of cups. It's giving woe is me because we got more cups. And you see, they just thrown. They just thrown. And they, if you think about a gold cup, it's going to sink. So these had to be just drank to still be floating, right? Yeah, temperance is saying bring in balance. And that's what that moderation is. And the five of wands, okay? Don't be arguing with somebody that has an addiction, y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. Don't, I mean, because some things that you feel like is common sense, it's not going to be very rash for someone that is in that energy of addiction, being captive of their lower self. So this is a delicate situation. Y'all have to handle this appropriately. Something may happen this weekend. Um, there may be a big argument or somebody wanting to argue with you. It could be about money. It could be about you moving forward, but it has to do with a home setting regardless so be mindful of the things you jump into be mindful of how you let your emotions carry you let's go ahead and get a closing message i appreciate everybody that takes time to leave comments likes the channel subscribes we're at 1800 i love y'all um thank you for everybody that was patient we're getting back on track there has not been any um morning energy because i am trying to get my life back together um, this hurricane and some other things kind of got us off track, right? But, you know, we work hard to get back on track. All right, Spirit, let's get a closing message. And to those of you that placed orders, all orders will be sent out this weekend. So I appreciate you all as well. All right, Spirit. Okay. Okay, so this too shall pass. Now, there is something going on this weekend. It could be a party. Like I said, something may come out to you. Somebody be, may be at a party. You may have to use moderation for, like I said, drinking. I heard drugs and drinking, and I know everybody don't do drugs, but be mindful of your drink. Do not leave your drink. If something feels off to you, smells off to you, smells like cinnamon, definitely don't drink it. If you've ever been roofied, you know why I'm saying it. If you have never been roofied, that's how you know. Um, if someone offers you a drink you don't know, I got to say... Don't, don't even do that. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Be mindful of the company you keep, but this too shall pass. Whatever this energy is that wants to cause guilt and guilt trip you and put you through all this shame and things, there will be somebody there to help you. Um, it could be a family member, a friend, somebody, when it comes out that whatever is going on behind the scenes shall come out. Okay. All right, loves, anything you need from me is down in the description box. I appreciate you all being here. 
I wish you a day as amazing as you are. I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance above all things, baby. I wish you love. So until next time, I love you all.